Well, all right, all right. What are we doing? We're doing double angles. Exactly. Let's go with inverses. Oh, boy. I'm looking at the sine of 2 times the cosine inverse of minus 1 half. Now, I have to make a triangle. Oh, boy. Is the cosine x or is the cosine y? The cosine is x. What do I mean? I mean representing x. What's next? So we're doing minus one half. So that's the positive x or the negative x? It's the negative x and that's gonna mm, let us create our triangle. The cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So that's a minus one and a deuce. Ooh -hoo 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 -hoo. So we gotta go and we gotta get that other side. That y squared um, plus that minus one squared is two squared. So my y squared is, wait for it, four minus one is three. So it turns out my y is gonna be plus and minus the square root of three. So I'm just gonna write that right there. Yeah, because that's later. I'm gonna write, uh, yeah, data fine. All right, so then I'm gonna expand this out because I have the double angle of, I'm just gonna call this whole thing data. So I go and I write that out and this is gonna be, oh, here we go. Um, two times the sine of, now what's my theta? My theta, that entire thing without the deuce. Um, so that's the cosine inverse of minus one half, all right. And then I write the cosine of my theta, which is the cosine inverse of minus one half. All right, because I'm using that form where I'm replacing my thetas with my theta up there. That deuce is that deuce, and that deuce means it's a double angle. So I go and I read the sine off of this triangle. The sine is the opposite over the hypotenuse. So we're going to do root 3. We're going to do root 3 divided by 2, and that's this business right here. That whole business right there, that's going to be that root 3 divided by two because that's deuce times that because we were dealing with this square bracket. Now I'm reading the cosine of the cosine inverse of minus one half. Now the cosine of the cosine that's going to get you the argument provided I don't know did this example tell you which quadrant you were in? We know we're at least in the second or the third quadrant because the cosine is negative. Anyways I'm gonna put that minus one half. Yeah, because that's the argument, or I can read it off this triangle, the cosine, the cosine off of this triangle is minus 1 over 2, minus 1 over 2. So what do we do? We find out that that's minus the square root of 3 over 2, because this deuce goes with that deuce, and that minus gets put on that end. Yeah. Oh, you can do that better. Look at that. Oh, yeah. First flower of the day. Okay. Should we come up and do this middle example? Mm -hmm. Well, I guess we could, but that would be so hood. Let's look at that triangle. Um, um, he's trying, um, um, look, look, Linda, look. Is the sign X or is the sign Y? Is the sign X or is the sign Y? The sign governs y. It's that up and down. Which up and down is negative? The down. The down is negative. So if I was going to make my triangle, it could be like this or it could be like this. It's going to be like this. Well, it's right, but okay. Anyways, it's right. So it's down because it's sine and sine is negative. Sine is the opposite. That's that minus deuce and that five. Okay. So I need to find that x distance. So it's going to be x squared plus or minus two squared. That's going to be, wait for it, five squared. So I find that my x squared. Now, come on, markers. You guys are new. You should be nice and wet. Okay. So that's going to be 25 minus four. Sure, because 5 squared is 25 minus 2 squared is 4, sure. Subtract that off, and x looks like it's going to be plus and minus the square root of, wait for it, 21. Fun. Now, we'll get back to that if we have time. What is that even looking? Oh, look at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
a lion. I'd be lying if we said we were going to have time. We're never going to get back to that. Arr! I know that probably angers you. But we can do this one because it's just about the same. Now, I'm using this trig identity. And if you want to finish that one, you can, man. Using that triangle, man. But now I'm over here, man. And I'm just going to do this one because it's kind of like the same as that one. And you're going to do it the same. Mm. King. Don't you see the lion? I see the lion. Oh, what a beast.